Hi all, Namrata here and you are watching Simulink Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss the third part of the assignment block series that is unassigned. So previously we discussed index on dialog and index as an input. So if I'll just go to the previous logics, you can see here that we provided the index on dialog and we had this y0 that is default values to be assigned to unassigned output elements was given as input. In index as an input, the index was given externally as an input and this y0 that is default value for unassigned output elements was also given as input. But now with today's design, you can see here that there is no y0 as input. So what will happen to the unassigned output elements? So in this video, I will not explain the basics of the assignment block that is how the input signal is assigned to the output elements and all. So if you want to understand that part, I request you to watch the previous two videos. So how the block changed from having y0 as input to not having it. So I'll double click on this block. So in previous videos, the output size was derived from the input y0 we were giving. But now we don't have y0 as input. We have to provide the output size over here. But in previous cases, we were providing some default values through y0. But now we don't have those predefined default values. So what will happen to output elements which are not assigned? So there are two cases. Either they will be assigned with zero values or they will take previous values all the time. So we will see what exactly happens for those output elements after the simulation. Also, there is one additional setting over here that is action if any output element is not assigned. So I have kept it as none so that the simulation can be successful. If you choose error, it will throw an error. If you choose warning, then it will give you a warning that you can see at the bottom of the model that is view diagnostics. And if you click on that, you will see what exactly the warning is. So I'll click OK. Let's have a look at the input signals. So as usual, we have one input signal which is varying from 0 to 100. And there is this second signal which is index signal, which has values ranging from 1, 2, 3. So it is changing from 1, 2, 2 and 3. Also in my last video, I asked a question which block we can use to separate output elements so in my previous videos, I used the selector block to separate this output elements. And the second block which we can use is this, that is Demux block. So if you guess the answer correctly, then well done, you are getting better at Simulink. So moving on, I'll just simulate this model. I'll keep this signal builder block open. just for the one-to-one -one mapping and better understanding. So from time t equal to 0 to 1, the index value is 3, hence the third signal is varying, whereas the first and the second signals are 0. So in case the index was not chosen previously, then the output element will be assigned with 0 value. So since this is at the beginning, which is initialization for signal 1 and 2 values are 0, we will see what happens once the index value is chosen in previous samples and in the next one when it is not chosen. So if I go to time t equal to 1 to 2, the index value is 1. So the first signal is varying, second 
signal is zero since the index was never chosen but for the third signal it is not set to zero but it's taking the previous value which was last time when index was three and from time two to three the index value is two hence the second signal is varying but now the first signal is taking the previous value when the index was one last time so from this simulation we can summarize following points the assignment block assigns input signal to chosen index value but for unassigned elements it assigns zero value in case the indices were never chosen and in case the index was chosen previously but in current time sample it's not selected in that case it will assign the previous value when index was chosen so that's all for this video if you like today's video hit like share and subscribe in my next video i'll discuss the case where we can assign all output elements till then keep watching and keep learning